All right, I've got a special episode for you today. Since it's episode number one, I'm Adam Moody, and today I'm going to be sharing with you Adam Moody. Now, I wanted to uh, share a little bit about the podcast, what's coming in the future episodes, uh, as well as sharing some tips with you about order bumps. Now, I've not only had my own e-commerce stores, run stores, uh, you know, with WooCommerce, with Shopify, taking care of the email marketing, helping with the products, with the offers, with the landing pages, the sales pages, all of that, uh, but also working with clients. And it's been really fun to now reach out to other people in uh, who are experts in their own areas, whether it's email marketing, it's lead generation, uh, just a ton of different areas, and talk to them about ways that, you know, you can increase your average order value or do the same for your clients. So in future episodes, intro is going to be short, going to introduce the guests, give you a little bit of background on them, why you should be listening, and then just jump right into it for like a five, maybe 10 minute episode with some really actionable takeaways uh, that you can take away and put to use. So with that said, let's just get right into it. Now, this one's going to start off a little bit differently. And if you're listening to this, you're catching the very first episode of the Average Order Value Academy podcast. First of all, I wanted to say that this episode is just going to be yours truly, Adam Moody. And what's going to be happening on the rest of the episodes is I'm going to be interviewing experts in their areas about ways that they're increasing AOV either for their own stores, for clients, whatever the case may be, right? Some of these are going to be the same general method, but different details. And this is really fun to see how people implement these in different ways and from different areas. So for example, today I wanted to go ahead and share one that I love. I love order bumps. I think these are really fun. And and while this may be more of a visual thing to talk about at times, It's usually something that you have, let's say you have an order form and you can just click that button and add it to your order. Usually it goes below the main uh, area, just depends on how your order form set up. You're probably familiar with all of that. Now there's so much you can do, right? And, but the biggest thing for me and something I've always told people is if you don't have an order bump, then you don't like money because there's always something that is of high uh, perceived value to your customers, to your clients, that you can put in there, right? And it's usually just something that, it's a no brainer that goes along with what you're offering, right? So the classic upsell, which is something different, that would be something after you've completed the purchase is more of the same in e-commerce, right? So what are you supposed to do with an order bump? Well, a lot of times it could be something that goes with the product, but it's not necessary for someone to get the most out of it, right? So it seems kind of odd, but you don't want to offer an order bump that somebody needs in order to basically use what they're buying, right? That that would kind of detract from it. Uh, But you could think of it as like maybe a holder for a group of items, right? Or maybe they're buying a nice shirt, the order bump could be a really nice wooden hanger, right? Just these ideas of, something that really complements it, but it isn't absolutely necessary for someone to get the most out of it. And these can be really, really fun. And I'm going to have a guest in a future episode that I've already recorded. Uh, You'll have to listen to this about, you know, offering multiple order bumps, which sometimes people hear that and they're like, wow, I just got my head around having an order bump. Are you saying I should have multiple? Uh, No, I'm not saying that you always should, but you can. You could have two or three. Uh, Maybe it's a bundle or just a couple different things that really supplement the main product. But there's so much fun stuff you can do with this. And don't just lock yourself either into a physical good. If you're selling physical goods, you could offer a digital uh, order bump. Maybe this could be something like, uh, you know, video, quick start type videos of how to go above and beyond. You know, it's not just uh, here how to use this. It's like, hey, here's how people have... Um, you know, used uh, our products and gotten, you know, above and beyond, or um, here's, you know, the advanced uh, usage or things, something along those lines. And also, uh, if you're doing digital, it doesn't just have to be a digital order bump. You could do something physical, right? Maybe you're selling, uh, let's say, like a membership, but then you could say, hey, do you want a t-shirt? You know, add that on as an order bump. There's a lot you can do, or you can keep it the same, whatever works. The main point at the end of this being test these out uh, and make sure that it's a great kind of no brainer, high value uh, for your customers because they will see this right when they're checking out. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, may not go on and purchase an order bump or rather an upsell or a second upsell, but everyone is going to get the chance who goes to check out to see this. So by all means, put in an order bump, have some fun with it, make it fun for your customers and provide something that that's good for them and provides a lot of value. 
All right, so those are just some ideas to get you running with order bumps and really looking forward to sharing the future episodes of this podcast where we're really going to get into it and uh, talk to these experts in some kind of quick hitting short format, you know, five to 10 minutes and with some really actionable takeaways that you can do to help increase you or your clients average order values. If you'd like to get the key takeaway points from this episode and all other episodes, just go to oasisoptimization.com slash insights. That's oasisoptimization.com slash insights, and you can get a fantastic summarized cheat sheet. Now, if you want to listen in on more great AOV increasing interviews with experts, be sure to subscribe via whatever your favorite podcast app is. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, Adam Moody, you can always find me at oasisoptimization.com. Okay, time to get back to the real world. Thanks for listening and see you on the next episode.